Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, I've made a couple of videos criticizing Anthony Bass, the Toronto Blue Jays player who caved in to the woke mob. In one of those videos, I called him a coward for not standing by what he believes in, and I received a little bit of criticism for using the word coward, some people claiming I'm a hypocrite for calling him a coward when I don't even show my face on the YouTube channel, which sure, people can feel that way, it's fine. To be honest, I'm really not scared or intimidated to show my face at all, I just don't want to deal with being a public figure. I don't want to be known, I just want to live a low-key life. That's literally the main reason why I don't show my face. But anyways, I respect the opinion, but I still disagree with it. And I still stand by my statement that Anthony Bass is a complete coward. You know, when I was working in the corporate world, I've been sent to the HR a couple times. I could have backed down and apologized, let the offended communist co-worker win. But no, instead, I stood my ground, stood by my statements, and essentially told them all to F off. I mean, you just gotta do it. I think we all gotta do it. As a society, we have to normalize speaking dissenting opinions. Otherwise, we let the woke cultural revolutionaries win without even putting up a fight. And that is what I meant in my criticisms of Anthony Bass. That's what I meant when I said that he was a coward. That was the core component, the thesis, if you will, of the video. I stand by it 100%. And my stance is now even further cemented, seeing clips like this. Other MLB players, in the same situation, in similar woke markets, refusing to back down, releasing public statements, and now even doing media interviews, telling the woke mob to essentially take a hike, doubling down and standing by their values and beliefs. This is how it's done. This is what Anthony Bass should have done. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean, and then let's continue to cover this topic with all the updates. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so we know the Anthony Bass approach. My apologies, woke mob. I will commit to get re-educated, and I'll never speak again. I'll exile myself from the public conversation. The guy virtually castrated himself in the most pathetic response I've ever seen. And now here's Trevor Williams showing how it's done. And like I said, that's been read 19 million times. Trevor, why did you feel so strongly that you wanted to make that statement? Uh, it had to be said. Um, we cannot stand idly by while our Lord gets mocked. And uh, before I hit send, you know, you, you try and do as much research as you can, right? You see the horrific videos that were posted of them. You read about what they were trying to do. Um, these things that are deeply offensive to us. And then you see that, well, they're doing these things. They're raising money for this, that, and the other. They've been doing it for over 30 years. But it, it was the point when the Dodgers re-invited them after knowing very well what they've been doing for the last 30 years. Um, to give them a Community Hero Award. Correct. And, that, and at that point, you know, <laughs> at that point, I looked at the Dodgers code of conduct. I'm like, look, or the Dodgers fan code of conduct. And it said, you cannot wear anything or say anything that goes anybody's against anybody's age, gender, creed, religion. And at that point it was like, this is a blatant, this is going against their code of conduct. Um, it's a blatant um, anti-Catholic message that they're sending, regardless of how much, you know, quote unquote good they've been doing in their community. But when I saw how deeply offensive it was doing awful things to the cross, doing awful things about stations of the cross. Like it's just, it, be, it became a point where th these negatives are, are not, they shouldn't be honored and they shouldn't mock a certain room, a certain group. Now, Trevor Williams isn't playing in Texas where he has the protection of a front office that hasn't gone completely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He's a former LA Dodgers player, and I believe now he plays for the Washington Nationals. In other words, arguably two of the probably most woke markets you could play in. So it's not like he's in a different situation. He just very simply puts his moral values above wealth accumulation. Both of these guys never have to work another day in their lives. So it's not like they're in a situation where they're gonna lose their livelihood and not be able to feed their family by simply voicing their opinions. Both of them are protected. They're uncancelable. Once you reach a certain amount of financial freedom, you can't get canceled. And even if you do get canceled, most of the time, you end up becoming more popular than you were previous. Now, it's a drag that the Washington Nationals don't sell a Trevor Williams jersey, from what I understand. I checked very quickly on the website. I might be wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Might actually be more evidence of the anti-Catholic nature of these woke sports organizations. But if he did have a jersey, I'd argue it would probably fully sell out 
after this clip made the rounds. We saw the same thing with Ivan Provorov and every other player. You're on the right side. You're on the side of the majority. You should never apologize. You're apologizing to a bunch of woke leftist authoritarians who don't actually care about what you said. They just want to control you. They want to flex their might and their power. You know, I was raised with a very simple philosophy, a very simple mantra, so to speak. If you're in a situation where you could do the right thing or the wrong thing, every time you should do the right thing. Not overly complicated, pretty simple. Just always do the right thing. And in cases like these, you should do the right thing. And the right thing is to stand by your beliefs, to stand by your people, your values, and to not be scared to tell the truth that most people agree with because you're worried about a very loud, fringe, cringe minority. You know, that's what I meant when I said that Anthony Bass was a coward. And what did apologizing even get him? He still got canceled anyways. I mean, it's not like they were going to forgive him. It's not like it changed anything. They fired him immediately. They let him go. They waived his contract. Now they're eviscerating him in the press. Toronto Blue Jays general manager explains why team cut Anthony Bass following anti-LGBTQ post. It wasn't an anti-LGBTQ post. But anyways, we've gone down the rabbit hole and proved that already. The Blue Jays manager wrote, like any decision, we're focused on building the best team possible. There are a lot of variables. Like anything, there are times when things get momentum and become a distraction in our clubhouse. And that was a variable. In other words, simply voice your opinion and it's a distraction and they'll cut you from the team and then claim to the press that it was justified. Absolutely freaking disgusting. We're now getting reports that players are reportedly unhappy with how the situation was handled. No sh Again, it's the same thing. You're on the right side. The people, fans, your teammates. Nobody had an issue with what Anthony Bass said until he started apologizing and committing to re-education. You know, Adam Carolla was speaking to John Stossel several months ago where he said this about cancel culture. Apologizing just leads to more apologizing. When critics demand apologies, he says, they really want power. They want you to apologize because they want dominion over you. And once you apologize, they just keep coming back. And Adam Carolla is totally correct. That's exactly what it is. It's a woke, fanatical mob that simply wants to exert power. They want to feel dominion, as if they control the standards, the narratives, and the limits and boundaries of the public conversation. If you give them that power, you make things worse for yourself. If you refuse to apologize, stand by your beliefs, then not only can you sleep at night, but you also control contribute positively to your children, to your family, to society at large, you send a very clear message that free speech is sacred, religious freedom and religious value should be respected, you create a counterforce to the prevailing woke media narrative, which is exactly what society needs right now. Instead, if you take the Anthony Bass approach, you feed into the opposite narrative, this kind of narrative. Blue Jays release Anthony Bass after disgraced pitcher clears waivers. You feed into these awful media scandals scoundrels who set the narrative that simply holding benign religious values or voicing those values makes you controversial, disgraced. It's got to stop and people got to get wise. And that's what I mean when I say that Anthony Bass acted cowardly. I took some heat from that statement from a couple individuals, but I stand by it regardless of whether or not I show my face online. If you catch me in any situation, regardless of where I'm at, I'm never going to bend the knee. I'm never going to apologize for standing by what I believe is right. And that should be the baseline societal standard, regardless of what side of the political spectrum you're on, not just with people that you agree with. You could think that communism is the greatest invention of mankind regardless of the 60 million people dead. I may think that you're a moron for promoting communism and socialism, but if you stand by your belief, if you actually believe it, and that is the stance that you're taking, well, I'll respect your opinions, I'll respect your beliefs, and simply leave it at that. It should be the standard both ways, always, and we need public figures to start setting that standard, not putting their tail between their legs and apologizing for their religious values. That's my view, that's what I got for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know that we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one.